Wadi Cup. We're in the throes right now of a lot of concern and a lot of panic over the COVID-19 virus. And a lot of gyms that have larger classes have had to reduce their schedule or close entirely for a number of weeks. We're not sure how long yet, but with that in mind, a lot of folks are having to do their training at home. What training they can do, they're having to do it at home. So we're going to go over some good habits for shadow boxing because this is one of the best exercises you can do at home and you don't need a lot of room for it. Now we're making this round up on the fly, but even if you don't have a whole bank of combinations and sequences to go through in your routine, in your mind, just remember that Muay Thai is the art of eight limbs plus two teeps. So we have our two hands, our two elbows, our two knees, our two shins, and our two teeps. So I've got hands here. I can straight punch, jab, cross. I can lead hook rear hook, I can lead uppercut, I can rear uppercut. With my elbows, I can step in, horizontal elbow, horizontal elbow, I can soak T, make it a little bit of a slice, or I can go upward. Or if you know how to do the 12 to 6, you can do the 12 to 6 and the 12 to 6. With our knees, essentially we can short knee here, but most of the time you can be doing your straight knees, your switch knee and your straight knee there. Then with our shin on the lead side, we can go up to the rib like so, okay? or we can spin all the way through, up to the rib, spin through, return, or we can go low with it, low, reset. I can go up to the shoulder or the head, boom. I can go up, up top and turn it over, reset. And of course, I've got my teep here, and I've got my rear side teep. I can make combinations out of all those techniques. So maybe I'm jab, cross, hook, roundhouse kick, return, reset. Maybe I'm long jab, step in, rear side elbow grab, knee, elbow, reset. You're going to make yourself combinations of three, four, five things. And here and there work in defensive techniques. So you've got an imaginary opponent in front of you. They go for a kick, you block. Come back, return kick, follow the cross, reset. After each one of these techniques and these combinations, you're going to return to a good solid base with good balance, with your hands up, with your chin down, and with your elbows tucked against your body. And we're just executing combinations. Parry, hook, cross, reset. Upper cut, low kick, reset. Up elbow, horizontal elbow. Long guard, up, cross, reset. Be on your base and keep your two pivot points for your entire combination or your sequence of defensive techniques in your combination. Don't move around and throw things while you're moving because then you're not going to get to set your base. Do your moving in between your combos. So I'm here with a combo. Uh, 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 uh. Reset. Now I'm over here. Uh. See? Fake. Bang, bang. Reset. Uh. And maybe I jab before it comes back at me. I just cover up. Come back. Bang, bang, bang. Follow. Long guard, reset. Don't treat your shadow boxing as just whatever. It can really, really improve your technique. So as long as you stay focused, as long as you keep your form tight, and as long as you keep coming back to being standing the way that you want to with good balance, with your chin down, hands up, elbows tucked against your body, and utilize all eight of your limbs plus your two teeps. Duck and cut.